Are you interested in some cheap games? Visit Aniba.com and discover a great selection for PS4, Xbox One and PC. Great weekly deals with up to 70% off. Use the code ICARI during the registration to get another 3% off for every purchase. And have a fun time gaming! Alright fellas, more sinner from the looks of it. This time we're going to face Faye Stillers, the Birdman, Crowman, whatever he's supposed to be. I think this guy is actually, actually not that hard, but he's definitely very annoying to fight, just because of all the crap he spams. All the projectiles and the ads he uses and also the poison effect, which is probably the most annoying part of this boss fight. But I think I have a fairly good strategy for him. Alright, so... Basically, I recommend using the Greatsword. Yeah, that was a really bad start. That's better. So, as you can see, I can actually interrupt his attacks if I use the charge attack and successfully hit him. So, it's kind of like hit and run tactics. You don't want to stay close to him long enough because his um, swings are really hard to avoid. Okay, that was weird. And also because of the poison effects. But that way, as you can see, it's possible to damage him quite well. <laughs> this was not good. Yep, just in time. Okay, I think we are at 50% now, right? So, yeah, that's it. This is when he starts doing this very annoying poison mist and basically just get as far as possible. So the poison effect doesn't get you. Yeah, he will start using his ranged attacks. It is actually possible if you use the... Yeah, actually they can't even hit you here if you hide behind this rooftop. And at some point he will get down from there. It is actually possible to use um, the shield if you manage to do a perfect parry. It is possible to reflect the attacks back, but as you can see at some point he will just get down, so... Yeah, it's risky. Yeah, now I was um, a bit slow. But it's going fairly well. Ah, okay. <laughs> now when I said that... No, might as well just use one healing. Come on. You know. Oh yeah, this is a very annoying thing. So he summons those uh, mini things here, like clones of him, and basically you want to kill them as fast as possible because they're casting like a death spell, I guess. All right, yeah, he got me there with his stupid ice balls and shit. This is what I mean. He really spams a lot of crap. But as you can see, he's really not that hard. So I almost got him now. Yeah. Uh, now I could actually use some ranged weapons because he cannot dodge those. Um, yeah. But basically, I already won. Oh, pretty much. Yeah. Let's use another healing. I mean, we got this definitely. Oh, come on. You're going down, man. So, as you can see, he is not that bad. Let's use the redemption stuff and see what we get this time. I'm not sure if it's uh, good to fight him, if it makes sense to fight him. Health increases. Yeah, I guess all bosses increase your health a bit. 
So as I was saying, I'm not sure if it makes sense to fight him at this moment because his um, sacrifice for him is pretty hardcore, a part of health and also a part of your, um, what is called, stamina. But other than that, I mean, it makes sense to fight uh, the, the easier bosses last and the harder bosses first when you still have most of your abilities, but I don't know. Also, his spirit did not appear for some reason. But yeah, anyway, this is it. This is the second boss. I actually think I want to fight the flame guy, this flame giant, last, because his sacrifice, I think, is the hardest, because he takes uh, your armor away. And without your armor, you take a shitload of damage. And uh, yeah, I think this is why I want to fight him last. I will see what the other bosses can do and uh, what kind of sacrifice they require, but... Yeah, I, I still don't know if I want to beat this game. I mean, of course I want to beat it, but I don't know if it's worth investing the time into it, but as you can see, bosses can be really easy if you know what to do, if you have the right strategy. So yeah, we'll see how it goes and how much we can take down and how far we get. I thank you all for watching and probably see you around soon with more Sinner Sacrifice for Redemption.